the, the parking downtown has been very tough on on our guests. Uh, you know, they're they're always asking where do we park. Uh, everything's full, uh, and I ask, I always ask them, did you try our valet? And, and most of the times they say yes. That even fills up. So um, just based off of what we've got to offer uh, down here on the short north, uh, parking is is tough. It's really tough. But valet takes a lot of that. Um, pain, I guess you could say, from, from our guests. You have to look at it. I mean, if, if, that's, if, if there's no alternative, uh, we really have to take a look at it real hard. I know there's a couple of uh, valet companies that are looking uh, to step up a little bit more. Uh, there's documented cases um, of valets just really aggressively taking over those meters. So it's, it's great that uh, if they want to provide a valet service, that's great but they're going to need to park those cars somewhere else so that uh, people that just want to come into the neighborhood, maybe just stop by and pick up a cup of coffee or visit a shop or a boutique can do so without, with, and still be able to get a parking space. A lot of businesses aren't going to open if there's a valet zone in front of their place. They won't be able to, to generate uh, those customers that they want. We, we witnessed really uh, bad valet behavior, valets, uh, valet drivers breaking traffic laws, uh, just not good stuff. It's not promoting a healthy, good neighborhood, uh, urban neighborhood. It happened, it's long overdue, um, and I think it is a positive sign that that downtown, short north, our urban areas, they're grown up. So we got to start to create laws that, that uh, respond accordingly to the demand.